Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of D.W. Bradley's Wizards and Warriors. So this is part two. I'm excited to play this again. So let's get started. Let's see, how do I load the game? Load, it. there we go. Let's see, it looks like... Yeah, Graveyard Killed was my last one. Nice. Let's see if I can increase the size of this window. No? Okay, that's alright. Make sure it still looks good for you guys. Alright, yeah. <clears throat> hey, Gauntlet, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Okay, I gotta resituate myself here. So that centers the view. That's how we look up and down, okay. I'm going down into this dungeon area. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> it's pretty scary. You're watching the market? I'm uh, doing good. Huh? That doesn't tell me if that's good or bad for you. <laughs> Hopefully it's good for you. Alright, let's see here. i got to reacquaint myself. Use, talk, steal, carry object. Hmm. I right, get out of this view. Oh, it's here. I'm confusing the options right now with uh, Grimoire because I had played that a while back. So I was thinking of Grimoire. <laughs> Wrong game. All right. So, I don't see a way to open this. Fight magic. Let's see. Let's see if Wiggles has the ability to use lockpick. Let's try it. Oh, okay, I see now. It shows the item and then you would click on what you want to use it on. Okay. I'm still playing this blind, so. So I'm guessing I just can't get in here. Uh, maybe his torch. Oh wow, it's got a fire sound effect. That's cool. Fight doesn't work. I thought maybe it was like Shadow Gate where you had to use an item and move it like this torch. But I'm clicking on it, nothing's happening. Okay. Maybe I just can't get in here yet. Check the wall, make sure there's nothing hidden. There's another torch. Okay, well, I guess we won't be going in there. I heard a noise.
Hey, says Tam. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? So none of these torches appear to do anything. I thought maybe one was a secret lever. Cool ceiling. All right. Might as well click on all of them while I'm here, just in case. Yeah, glad you're doing good. Say it's Tam, it is Friday. Thank goodness. Okay. I guess I have to go back out through the cemetery. I guess we'll explore back here real quick. See anything. We'll see if more skeletons come out to kill us. Now that I killed the skeleton lord, maybe they won't. Cool, they didn't. Alright, nice. Out there in the woods. I don't see anything back here though. Okay. So right now I'm heading back toward the town. This is the way I had gone. Okay. Huh. I have 11 gold, that's it. <clears throat> Sell some of this junk I found. Skull, I guess I'll keep that. Might need to use that for something. Sword. Cap. All right, we need to identify. Can he identify too? Let's see, let's go back. He can, cool. I don't have enough. Oh, I got to pull the gold. Rusted longsword. Okay. So that only does one to five damage. Those are all rusted longswords. Okay. Cap. Felt cap. 
Armor class rating 0 0.2. Tough 50%. Okay. Cool. So we'll keep that. Here's a shield we can identify. Wooden shield. Shield rating plus two. Repair damage 19%. It weighs eight pounds. Rotted shield. Shield rating a one. Here's a cool axe, rusted war axe. <laughs> Still one to five damage. Staff. Witch's stick. Oh, cool. What does that do? Two to four damage. Special special sleep. So it has a sleep ability. Cool. So we'll definitely keep that one. Willow arrows, another rotted shield. A lot of rusted equipment. Primitive bow. Strength 8 to hit minus 1. Okay. And then we got a potion. Heal potion. Cool. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and sell. Hey, isn't bad? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Happy Friday to you as well. Okay. I wonder if, he can equip, if she can equip that. Restrictions, no. He can't wear this felt cap, but somebody can, I'm sure. Okay. Let's pull our gold, Let's see how much we have. 326, that's not much, is it? Glad you're not doing bad. You had a productive day and heading to the evening, so the work's done. Well, that's good. Enjoying this as much as you thought you would? Yes, I am. It takes a, this is only the second time I've played it. I'm playing it blind, so I'm kind of struggling through a few of the options, but yes, it's incredible. All right, let's go into inventory. I just have to get used to everything. So the felt cap, who has that? I think it's him. He can't use it. Hmm. Somebody's got to be able to wear it. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Wow. I'm not sure why it's a. Maybe it's for like a bishop or a priest or something. I don't have anybody that can wear it. Okay. 
I wonder what that means. Strange. I guess there's no way to tell what class can use it. Hey Jake, welcome to the stream. How you doing? You wonder how open or linear Wizards and Warriors is, he says. Well, we're going to find out. Isabad says, good. I've never played it either. I caught your first stream and I've hovered over buying it. I might get it today. Yeah, I would. I highly recommend it. It's like I said, this is only the second time I've played. So I've only played like two hours, but really, really liking it. What is this? Bag of gold. Oh, that always shows up in your inventory, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Is anything to buy? Feather dart, sleep dart. Scroll of sleep. How much are these? Oh, price 100, 200. Yeah, I can't afford this right now. Okay. Well, somebody had that cool witch stick or whatever it was called. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, is this it here? It is. Okay. So, this is a staff. Might give it to her. Yeah. So now it has a sleep special attack. So we might be able to put an enemy to sleep when she hits with it. Alright. Hey, Gringo St Steve, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yeah, we got a daytime stream going. Playing Wizards and Warriors. D.W. Bradley. Wow, that's so expensive. Oh, that's right. I also had another shield shield on another guy that I could equip. Looks like he's added equipment since I went there last time. Where did that shield go? Oh, he already has it equipped. Okay, cool. So my priest has it equipped. Alright, excellent. Alright, let's get moving on. Oh, and hey, Max here. Hey, Mac. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, glad that you can make it. Come for a good game here, Wizards and Warriors. Alright, let's try going this direction this time. Explore the woods a little bit. Uh-oh, here come some enemies. Uh... Let's see here, blind spells, stink bomb. <laughs> that one's hopping around. Need to get closer.
I've slowed down the combat so it's not fast real time. Ooh, who's this? Highland Road. Uh, who is it? She-Ra. Fight. <laughs> Helena. Magic. Burn. Horus. Stink Bomb. Feels nauseous and gags. Okay, cool. <laughs> Gringo says four guys telling a six man party that they're outnumbered. <laughs> Yeah, I missed this game too. Never even knew about it. So glad to have it now though. All right, we need to try to heal Helena. I put him asleep with that stick. That's awesome. That witch's stick. He's got a good dodge. Oh, Gauntlet says he got his notification on time today on YouTube. Good. Rogue Leader blocks. Ah, he blocked it with his shield. Rogue Leader tries to fight but gags. That's a good spell. Maybe I'll get some good money out of this. Ooh. Wow, we need to do some more healing. Okay. Heal. Nice. Let's try to burn him. Oh, I'm out of spell points. Okay. Ah, Wiggles. Wiggles died. I was going to heal him, but it wasn't my priest's turn yet. Man, this rogue is hard to hit. He's almost dead. I can't seem to hit him. Alright, do I have any other spells? Armor plate. That's not going to help us. Out of spell points for Stink Bomb. Can't cast that either.
There we go. Man, it's about time. 200 experience. Question is, can I resurrect Wiggles and how much is it going to cost? All right, one left. There we go. All right. Sword. Sword. Shield. Uh oh. Oh, now we have a skeleton attacking us. It's a lot easier than the rogues, I think. Yeah. Gemstone, cool. I'll walk over the top of these arrows and your guy will automatically pick them up. Which is cool. Healing potion. Bracelet. Dagger. Okay, cool. Wow, it's getting dark. Alright, let's see if we can go back and resurrect Wiggles. I right, hear some arrows. It'd probably be helpful to have the uh, have some kind of light spell. Hope I'm going the right direction. Hmm. Hey Andrew, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Yeah, the music has been excellent in this game. Yeah, I was planning on uh, playing that this playing this Saturday, but uh, I'm like, you know what? I want to stream today, and this is the game to do. It's awesome. Yeah, Wiggles died. I, I fought a rogue leader and three rogues and some other stuff before then. I tried to heal him. Uh-oh. What is that? It's a horse. Haha! <laughs> Giddy up! Oh, we got on the horse! Ha! <laughs> We're on the horse! Well, that's pretty cool. It even is making the hoof sounds. 
It's so dark because I, I don't have a light spell. Okay, let's see what this says. Lane? Can't make that out. I don't know what it says. Hey, YouTube! Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Is that a chest? It looked like a barrel to me. I think it was a barrel. Andrew says the visuals remind me of lands of... Oh! Yikes. It's dead. Kill these bats real quick. Andrew says visuals minor land on lore two and three. I haven't played that. Andrew says, why won't the game let you read the sign? Frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. I, I clicked on it and it said signpost, but it wouldn't tell me the text. It shows the text on it, but I just couldn't quite make it out. I'm just trying to get back to town. So I guess I'll follow this trail. Uh, I know for sure that I didn't. Uh oh, here comes a rat. Where'd it go? Just ran under me. I know I didn't go uh, take a Y anywhere, so let me just try to follow it back. I'm really gonna get lost here. Oh, is this it? It is, okay. Wow. All right, let's see if we can resurrect Wiggles. I have 352 gold. Right. Fifty-nine gold to resurrect, that's it? Nice. Ha! Huh. I thought it was gonna cost like Bard's Tale level where it'd be like three thousand gold or something. That is a bargain. <laughs> okay, cool. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Nice. All right. So, I found a bunch of stuff. Let's get it identified. Yeah, his mouth moves. <laughs> Sword. Rusted small sword, okay. Here's this shield looks pretty cool. It's a round shield, nice. Plus three shield rating. That's really good. This is a regular short sword, that's pretty cool. Rusted. Wow, this costs 25 gold to identify. That's pretty expensive. It's an amethyst gem. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if that has any powers or if it's just to sell. Primitive bow, more rusted swords, a knife, rusted war axe. Here's these bracelets. 31 to identify. Bronze cuff. Ooh, cursed dagger. Minus one. Ha! 
I'm spending all my gold to identify this stuff. That's my first cursed item. Hey, Rad, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Yes, there are voices in this game. Jake says looks very similar with Wizardry 8. Yeah, a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So, D.W. Bradley didn't work on Wizardry 8. He worked on 6 and 7. And then somebody else at Surtech, others completely took on Wizardry 8. So, he released this game one year on his own in another company uh, one year before Wizardry 8 came out. The interface in this is a lot different than Wizardry 8. And just, uh, just in general how everything works is quite a bit different. Okay, let's do a cell now. Where do I do that? Cell. Okay, we definitely want to keep that shield. We're going to sell this junk. Short sword, dagger. So this is worth 50, that's not bad. Glad you're doing good, Rod. Watching reviews and reading manual of some board games, I got you. What? That knife weighs 15 pounds? Oh, it's quantity of three, okay. Five pounds each. So I guess I'll keep that because I could throw that, yeah. Oh, these bronze cuffs gives armor protection. Okay. And then the cursed dagger I can sell for 48. <laughs> Why would anybody want to buy a cursed dagger? <laughs> That's funny. Let's see if I recouped any of the cost of identifying. <laughs> I about broke even. That's unfortunate. But at least I got these two bronze cuffs. Let's go equip them. First of all, let's put the shield here. I'm guessing the shield's better than using a bow. Seventeen hit points, sixteen hit points, fourteen hit points. I like how when you pick up the item, it highlights where you're supposed to put it. That's cool. Alright, so these knives we're going to give the Wiggles. Yeah, now he has five. Okay. Excellent. So how close am I to leveling up? Stats. I know I saw that somewhere. Where did I see it? Here it is. Oh, experience needed attained. Okay, cool. So how do I level up then? Oh, it's right there. Nice. So he has 15 hit points. Let's do the level up. I'm playing this blind, obviously. Uh, okay. So our hit points went to 22. It said something and I missed it. I think it said it at the bottom. 
Choose ability, two points remain. Uh, oh, I see. You hover over. Okay. And then you can raise it. Okay. Let's do fortitude. Can strength go up any higher? Nope. That's the highest you can get. Cool. Jake says, just found out that there was a TV show called Wizards and Warriors made in the early 80s. Ran only eight episodes. Really? So what was that about? It's like, that's the third thing called Wizards and Warriors. There's the NES game, then you have this game, and now there's a TV show. So the TV show was first then, if it was early 80s. All right, what's it say? Choose one skill to increase. Uh, what is he using right now? I think it's a sword. Okay, cool. All right. So that's how the level ups work. So now let's go to the next person. She attained it. Level up. You gain one hit point and something else. Just one hit point? That's lame. Okay. Dexterity affects your ability to use weapons effectively. It's important for things like pickpocketing. Agility affects how fast you can move and attack, and how well you can dodge. Let's do that. She's using a spear, I think, right now. Uh, I want to get at least one in mace, in case I find one. Sandstam says, check out my new game, Wizards, Warriors, Ghouls, Ghosts, and Goblins. <laughs> yeah, just throw in some combination of those and you have it all. <laughs> That's funny. Jake says, it was some kind of fantasy show. Looks like high fantasy with wizards and stuff. It started the late Jeff Conway from Tech. Oh, starred the late Jeff Conway from Taxi and later from Babylon Fire. Interesting. Okay, Flynn. Flynn gets to level up. Five hit points, two ability points. He's only 17 years old. That's a pretty young warrior. Alright, let's see. What are we going to give him? Let's give Dexterity Agility. Bow. Tor can level up. Six hit points, two build points. Oh, so over here I just noticed it shows your chance to hit and parry in that. That's cool. This dexterity is so low. One skill, uh, shield. He's using one. Ooh, we got a new spell. Choose a spell to open. So I guess I 
have to stay with the same books. What's repel do? Oh, it doesn't tell you. We have repel or slow, bless or awaken. Let's do bless. Okay, Wiggles. Oh, Wiggles doesn't level up yet because he had died. So he's still short on experience. But Helena can level up. Affects your ability to learn new magic spells. Ooh, let's bump that thing. She's using that staff. Okay, so there's a spell called Shock. We have Torchlight. Let's do Shock. I need more attack spells. Okay, cool. Wow, nice progress. So we need to get a little bit of experience for Wiggles. Wiggles alive! Okay guys, let's go back out on this path. This is the way I went originally, and the graveyard's down here. Why is one character in the upper left? That's the character I think that has focus. Yeah. You click on one of these to focus them, and then they can do whatever you have selected. So you have to select each character one at a time. Now during combat, what happens is once you performed your turn in a given time period, it'll white out their portrait and then it automatically flips to the next person. So then all you have to do is, you know, do the fight and click or like cast magic and click or whatever. It's so dark at night. Oh, I lost that horse, didn't I? I just realized that. So yeah, this is the graveyard that I went in before. I don't want to go back in there. I couldn't figure out how to open the door. Man, it's dark. Wow. This is crazy how dark it is. Ha! Huh. Go toward the light. Ooh. Wow, I stumbled on this by accident. Oh, you scared me, fella. You're no better than sneaking up on an old stout. Are you trying to give me a fit? From the looks of you, or say you want something. Well. Say what you mean then. Hail. Oh, it's you again. What can I help you with? Trade. There. Yeah, let me see what I've got for you. A club. What's it say? Question mark club? For seven? Okay. Uh, what is that? I'm playing on a small screen, so I can't see as well. Let me see if, when I look at OBS, if it looks bigger to me. Helmet. Does that say helmet? I think that's what it says. 
helmet. So he only has a club or a helmet. Hey, Liquid Melt Slime. Welcome. How are you doing? He says, Wizards and Warriors, funny funny game, but I love turn-based games the most. Well, you can turn down the real-time combat to make it pretty much turn-based. That's what I've done. Liquid Melt Slime. Yeah, She-Ra, exactly. She's the sister of He-Man. <laughs> I called her that because she's a tiger, like, rah. I just wanted to come up with a funny name. So I don't know. Should I buy this helmet for 75 All right, let's do it. Fight. Oh. See what I've got for you. Do you have to say bye? I'm confused. Let's see. Let me make sure I didn't buy it already. That's not it. That's a different helmet. That's the felt cap. He has enough gold. I hit the B key. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm not sure why buy is not working. sell these are like options so when I hit when I hit sell it shows things that he will maybe then I double click this let me try it yeah this is the first thing I've run into in this game that's clunky don't know why it won't trade. Double clicking doesn't work, right clicking doesn't work. Do you guys see anything on the screen that I could maybe click on to make this this bottom left corner actually do the, the sell or the buy? So when I hit buy it just toggles it. Like that's what he's selling, and then if I click sell, it's things I have in my party. Yeah, I can't figure it out. And these are all just the normal options. Andrew says click on the item picture. Yeah, I tried that doesn't do anything and I know this is the guy that has all my gold let me try hitting space bar did that did that do it okay let me go back to buy okay so space bar just flips between people
Oh, uh oh. There's trolls attacking me from behind while I'm dealing with this guy. Let's see if we can talk with him. Let's hail him. No talk, no listen, no talk, no listen. What are you, Oh, he's attacking me, okay. Andrew says he's looking for a manual. It's funny how they just come up from behind you and they they gave him away because they were talking. Okay, let's try this again. Trade. Look what else Slime says. I played Stronghold today, but recruited a thief and a halfling in the party was a bad idea. They are both weak and do not have sling or bow to do ranged attacks. <laughs> so you're talking about the, the later Stronghold game, not the original SSI game. Well, it's says Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is free on Steam today. Andrew says a list of items in the character's possession will appear. As each item is highlighted, the merchant will offer you a price. Should you accept this price, click on the item to sell it. I, I tried that. I'm clicking on it. Nothing happens. Yeah, I have the manual. Hey, welcome, Psych Mist. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I do have the manual, and Andrew just read it, but it's not working. I'm clicking on that, and nothing's happening. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. Cause yeah, it will not let me click on it. Andrew says you may also sell items you're carrying to the NPC by clicking on the sell option at the bottom of the parchment scroll display. That's what I did. So that's what this is. I clicked sell and then it shows it. So it's like a toggle between buy and sell. I feel like there's something missing. Because I click on it, nothing happens. Enter. Enter just takes you back here. Jake says try to click on the item name. Yeah, th thanks for trying, Andrew. Liquid Slime says, I play the original Stronghold SSI TSR game. Is there a later version? It's a totally different game. There's a different Stronghold. The, the Stronghold original, you control armies, and you have basically five factions, and then there's a totally different one that was made later. All right, let me try the item name. Item name doesn't work. Trade doesn't work. Graphic doesn't work. None of that's clickable. Yeah. I guess I'll just leave this guy because I can't get it to work. Uh, let's see. Are they equipped items? Uh, no, like this. 
That's what I'm trying to sell here, this primitive bow. It's not equipped. See, I go to sell, and it's this right here. When I click on it, it won't, it won't go. Okay, well, we'll just leave the guy behind because I can't figure it out. Man, it's so dark. Should have got the torch lights, Bill. <laughs> I'm pushing his cabinet around. Look. <laughs> I just pushed his cabinet outside his house. Oh, it looks like we took healing potions? confused <laughs> he's following me what is that what did he drop Healing potion, another healing potion, wow. Look what Mel Slime says is the later Stronghold game in medieval Europe, no fantasy elements. I haven't played it, so I don't know, but it could be. See, there's a way to look at the auto map. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thought I just heard a troll far in the background. <laughs> This definitely has a sense of exploration. Uh, Jake was one of no games that have exploration and stuff. Yield Cemetery, yeah, I've gone that way. It's a dead end. I sense a troll goonie nearby, Boris said. I really need it to be daytime. It's so dark. <laughs> I like these sound effects. Hey, L, welcome to the stream. How you doing? L says, don't go in the dark places. You'll be eaten by a Gru. <laughs> definitely has a creepy feel to it, no doubt about it. They have done excellent job. Another path? Okay, this is where I was at. Ooh, it is a treasure chest. Inspects the treasure chest. Poison Fang. Alright, we need Wiggles to do this.
Oh, I'm getting attacked. Wiggles is poisoned. Oh! Yikes! A giant tree spider and a whole bunch of rogues. This is bad. Okay. get closer to this thing. Let's do a bless. Wow, seven damage. All right. Uh-oh, she was paralyzed. Yikes. Almost dead. They really do not like Shira. Still not dead? Finally. <laughs> That's a cool death animation. That spider is creepy, isn't it? Man, so much creepier than the uh, Wizard G8 spiders. Andrew says, I'm watching a Let's Play of someone, and their cell menu looks different. Yeah, at a normal vendor, um, it does look totally different. The, when I was talking with that guy, it was completely different. So that was very strange. Look when Wild Slime says, I do not understand why they cannot use slings and stronghold. I mean, the halflings and the thieves. Yeah, and they just use their melee attacks. That is pretty funny. All right, time to heal yet again if I can. Ooh. All right, Wiggles, do you have a potion? No, you don't, okay. She's out of spell points.
Alright, she is finally not paralyzed. One level one lockpicks taken. All right, let's cast that one stink bomb. Use heal potion. Oh, Webster died? That's a bummer. Ooh, Wiggles can level up. Let's do his level up right in the middle of combat. Oh, uh, what is he using? He is throwing a lot. And then I think he's using a dagger. Maybe a sword. Sword. Oh, the spider I killed is named Webster. <laughs> okay, wow. I thought you meant the actor that acted in the show Webster. Yeah, Webster was tough. Hey, we're hitting this guy. Oh yeah, he's asleep. Nice. 32 experience. I love how they drop their equipment. That's so much better than getting something random than what the monsters did, didn't have. Oh, Wiggles is still poisoned. Egg? Spider egg taken. Okay. Alright, how are we going to heal Wiggles? I think I may have figured it out. I, what? I used the healing potion on him. How did he die? Did it not go in time? I think I may have figured out how to do the trading now. I'm going to have to go back and try to find that guy. But now I need to go back to the main town. I think I have to right click control click on someone and pick the person who wants to buy the item because that's how the use works like when you say use a potion you have to control and then click on the guy you want to use the potion on the portrait so I'll 
I'll have to go back and try to find that guy and see if that works. Oh, wow, look, there's stars. That is cool. Yeah, Rip Wiggles is right. He only potion overdose. Eisenbad <laughs> says, yeah. Maybe the church has more cheap Wiggles and <laughs> backstock. Andrew says, it's funny. Man, that witch item is awesome. Okay. Let's see if I can find how to get back. Oh, there's that chest I tried to open. But we know it's poisoned. Okay. I'll have to come back for that. I really need it to be daytime. <laughs> so I can see where the heck I'm going. I'm like going off the trail. There's some items on the ground here. Club. I'm going in circles. Look at that. What the heck? She was poisoned too now? Sheesh. Oh. Oh, there's another one. You always end up in these dark environments. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's what I get for not getting torchlight. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm walking. This is just crazy. I'm, I'm making progress, kind of. I'm like bumping into trees and stuff. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. I think I have a torch. I do have a torch. I just remembered that. How do I use it? Okay, that provides a little bit of light. What is that, a tree? It's still dark. Man. She resin. keeps taking poison damage. Yeah, Tor's an elephant guy. Yeah, umphas. Yeah, they're cool. They're really slow, but have high strength and uh, wisdom. 
Man, I am so lost. So the treasure chest, I think, is going to be on the right over here. Let's just take this path. Trolls are nearby. Ooh. Ouch. Whoa. That escalated quickly. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. I love how you can hear the enemies coming. Like when that those trolls just start talking. It's like, oh boy, there's a troll somewhere around here. Lots of healing potions. Jake says, if you run into odd problems or something, there's at least two fan patches for the game. Okay, cool. I think I just wasn't doing it right, but I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, uh, there's still more. What is that? Healing potion. This game really turns you into a scavenger. Alright, we need to heal. So see, it's on use right now. So then I come over here and see how it says control to target. I control and then click on her, her and then it uses what was selected over here. So I'm guessing I do the same thing with the purchasing. I probably have to pick the target. Heisenbad says, yeah, it's interesting the Wizardry 8 had similar race choices. I don't remember what the boar race in this is called. Yeah, this is really cool. This You can see the stars and everything. Yeah, I don't know the name of it either, Heisenbad. Andrew said there's a great... Or that's great, there are fan patches for this old game. And Psychmas says, Holy cow, do you have like a location beacon hidden on you so that the trolls and animals find you so easily? <laughs> well, I do have a torch lit. They're probably like, Hey, let's go toward that light. Arrows on the ground. There's arrows in the tree. Look at that. That's cool. Let's see. Heisenbad says, is the party configured into any formation or can they all hit, take damage from anywhere? That's a really good question. I'm not, I'm not even 100% sure. I think they can all take damage, but I don't know that for sure. Hey, Zarkangel. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? 
And here's that dumb chest again. What is this? Flint not affected. Okay. Well, that's good news. So I guess that's force. Ugh. I really need it to be daytime. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Man, just think what D.W. Bradley could make today with today's resources, what kind of game he can make. This was 20 years ago. It's just insane. Use... Well, eventually it's going to turn light. <laughs> it can't be dark forever. What is that? Oh. I really do feel like I'm just wandering through woods. Exploring. Whoa. Out of range. Glad you're doing good, Zarkangel. Troll Mangu, this is different. He's tougher. Oh yeah, put him to sleep. Andrew says I bet this game is huge. Yeah, I bet it is too. I'm in this you know, I'm just in the first area and I'm getting lost. Ooh, what is that? Another shield? Okay. Wiggles isn't getting any experience because he's been dead for so long now. I can't carry anymore. Okay. Wow. Can't pick that up for some reason. I am really 
есть так. Oh, another treasure chest. Oh boy. Pain wave. So we got three bags. Oh, there's other stuff in here. Scroll. Uh, Andrew says you can't camp somewhere. That's a good question. Oh, now it's empty. I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to camp? I don't think there is. I really do need to get back to town somehow. It's funny, you can actually push them back. In Wizardry 8, when the monsters and NPCs are moving, they push you. They push the whole party. But these, if I walk forward, I actually push them back. Yeah, the trolls language is going down there. I know I have a hard time looking down there and reading the text sometimes because I'm so busy looking at the interface. I have so much stuff I've gathered. I just really need to get back to the town. I probably have enough money now. Oh, I think my torch wore out. Uh, did I use both of them? I think I did. So it looks, oh no, it's because I didn't give it to him. Okay. Okay, I better save it. Ooh, I see some light. I think sun, the sun's starting to rise. I finally be able to get out of here. Look at that. Nice sunrise effect. Trail. Does that say Nymph Lake? Oh, here's the main town. There's my horse. It's still there. I guess we had to get back on it when we left town. Cool. Okay. Wiggles.
resurrect some wiggles. Wow, that costs a lot. Oh, maybe it does it based on your level. That's how the bard still did it too. Okay, we have a lot to identify here. 18 to identify this sword. It's a short sword. Scroll. Wow, 75 to identify it. Alright, I guess so. Scroll of Dispelling. Okay. Scroll of Blessing. Wooden Club. 1 to 5 damage, hit minus 1, repair damage 14%. Gauntlet says if you ever own an elephant, you must name it Wiggles. <laughs> and Wiggles is this guy, the elephant I named Tor. Gauntlet. <laughs> Wiggles is the, uh, he's like a ratkin guy. But yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> Primitive bow, rusted small sword. So a small sword is different than a short sword? That's kind of strange. All right, let's sell some of this. Sell, where are you? There it is. Yeah, it's still solid advice. <laughs> okay, I'll hang on to that shield. Okay, now we're going to do a test. So he'll buy this club for one dollar. It shows a dollar, but really it's gold. Okay. So we're going to identify it. That costs two. So now we're going to try to sell it and see what we get for selling it. Three. Okay. So no matter what, we get the same amount. In fact, if you get multiples, yeah. Then you actually, if you have multiples of the same item type, when you identify one, it looks like it identifies all of them for that character that are that same type. So you actually will normally come out ahead when you identify. So that costs 10. My dog's barking, so I'm muting my mic for a second.
Okay, we'll see if she quit barking now. Wow, a bloodlust potion. That's pretty cool. Rusted small sword. A rapier. Ooh, nice. Three to five damage. That's really good. And plus one to hit. That's definitely good. Gauntlet says, you know Bender called Fry Wiggles in Futurama, right? I did not know that. I haven't watched Futurama. Jake says, when they finally manage to clone mammoths, I have dibs on the first ones which are available. <laughs> oh, Magnificent Meals here. Wow. Thank you very much for that donation. That is awesome. That is so kind of you. Well, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I know you've been really busy with your work and everything lately. I think you said you went to the... Are you working the night shift now? Thank you so much for that magnificent meal. That is awesome. Jake says, imagine riding mammoth on the streets. Choo-choo gather. <laughs> yeah. That would be an issue. Sorry guys, I have to keep trying to mute my mic because my dog keeps barking. Yeah, Magnificent Meal is so generous. He's giving me donations quite often. I really appreciate that. In fact, he's I, I mentioned in my uh, shout out video that one of my subscribers, I'm doing a review for him and it's Magnificent Meal. So I guess I'll just tell everybody so that they're aware. So my next review is on a game called Colonization. It's Sid Meier, and you, you probably, you're probably familiar with it, but it's a very complicated and in-depth game. So that review is gonna take me quite a while, but um, doing that for a magnificent meal because he's been so generous, and I asked him a while back what games he would like to, to see, and I did War of the Lands for him. I don't know, it's been probably about a year ago. And now we're doing uh, colonization. So, yeah, I I think I played Civilization One a long time ago, but that's it. And I haven't played any other Civilizations. I haven't played Colonization. So, uh, Undari. Oh, hey, Undari, welcome to the stream. He says so many Dosh gems we never knew. Yes, this game is amazing. Uh, Wizards and Warriors. I am just loving it. Magnificent meal! What the heck? Thank you so much! Man, you just totally made my day. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. He says, no more night shifts for me. Hope to see more of you on the streams. Cool! That is awesome. I'm glad you're back to the day, the day job. That's great. You're just so generous. Sandstam says, Colonization is awesome. Are you viewing the original or the remake? Um, the original. So it's the 19... I think it's 1994 was when it was released. So yeah, it's... Uh, you know, that's going to be just great. But like I said, it's going to take me a long time to get through it. But it's the only one I'm going to work on. Sometimes when I'm doing reviews, I have... Uh, two or three going simultaneously but I'm putting all my time into just this one because it's going to take a huge effort yeah I still can't believe that Magnificent Meal you're just so generous I really appreciate it <laughs> Andrew says DOS is the hidden gem hotspot I haven't played it either uh, he said toward Gauntlet so SDM says colonization borrowed a lot of seven cities of gold okay let me keep going a little bit here on the game so that people that are actually trying to watch the stream aren't gonna be like what the heck this guy never does anything he just blabs the whole time 
Okay, let's identify this. Primitive bow. Oh, another potion. Okay, now I can get to selling. So. Alright, so bloodlust. I wonder what that spell does. Here's a spider egg. Rusted small sword will sell. We're keeping the rapier for sure. Yeah, I like how this will only sell items that are not equipped. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. See, SDM said they remade it a while back because of Civilization 4. And uh, Eisenbad says Colonization is one of his favorite games. <laughs> well, thanks, Gauntlet. It's, someone told me on my channel, they're like, man, I'm, I can't watch your stream, your replays, because you just pause it too often. I'm just like, you know what? I understand. You, did, you don't have to watch it, obviously, I said, but I'm here usually for my subscribers that are in the chat. I'll chat with them. They, they take priority. So, unfortunately, you know, if you don't like that, then just don't watch my videos. <laughs> or my live streams, my live streams. We got some more knives. Oh, we got a cure poison potion finally. Nice. Okay. So I think I went through all the items I could sell. Yep. Okay, cool. Let's see how much gold we have now. 465, so really not that much. But we're getting there. Let me take a look at the inventory. No, I agree. I, I love the chatting. I just don't want to stall playing too much where people get kind of aggravated. What does that say? Bar Baron Hawk's package. What is that? Baron Hawk's package. Hmm. Andrew says, people and their opinions. As if there aren't plenty of other channels to watch. Yeah, exactly. You don't like my channel, just go somewhere else. <laughs> oh my gosh, Magnificent Meal. You're going to kill me here. You're going to give me a heart attack. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you so much. He says, this is for you. Keep up the good work. Man, I, I don't know what to say. That is just so generous. Wow. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I definitely am keeping up the good work. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the review when I get done with that. <laughs> I did almost joke. I was in the middle of drinking, and I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, that's just amazing, man. Thank you. Wow. Okay, what was I doing? <laughs> Let's see. Going to inventory. I feel like I had a bracer to put on somewhere. Somewhere. There it is. So that'll boost armor class. What is that? Oh, that's the rapier. So rapier... Let's give it to him. Let's see, longsword. Oh, longsword actually does a little more damage. So we may give, but the rapier is plus one hit. So let's give the rapier to him, maybe. Maybe Tor or a Flynn. Yeah, Flynn. He just has this short sword. So that'll be a lot better for him. Because instead of 2 to 5 damage, now he does 3 to 5 plus 1 to hit. <laughs> well, thank you, Gauntlet. I appreciate that. Let's see. Yeah, thanks again, Magnificent Meal. 
super appreciative of that. Okay, we're done with inventory. Let me see actually if I can level up again yet or how far away I am. Because I fought a lot of stuff out there. I think it was here under journal. Yeah, not, not bad. We're getting fairly close. Okay, cool. All right, let's go back out. Oh, thank you, Andrew. That's very nice, you guys. You guys are great. All right, let's wipe this out and say, I'm just gonna say level two. I'm probably gonna start doing that based on my party levels, because otherwise I'm gonna start running out. Well, dang it, it's still dark out. Okay, let's see if there's a way we can... Where am I? The horse is gone. Huh. So the horse just kind of disappears if you wait too long? I'm trying to rest so that it'll be daytime. Maybe we can do that here. Character review. Hmm. You're one of my best customers. I bought some ale. I don't know if maybe going in here would cause time to pass quicker. Rumors in chat. No, I'm not going to pay you anything. I've done that before. <laughs> he says, all right, get out of here then. Now there's a gate over here. Maybe I should go this way. It says Nymph Lake. Yeah, it's still dark outside. Oh, wow. Now I see what happened. Somehow I ended up on the other side of the town. And that's where I had left this horse. Wow, okay. So if you go out the one gate, you go out the back side toward Nymph Lake, which is the harder area. And then... You go out the main gate, you go toward the cemetery. Okay, now it makes total sense. I sure wish it was daytime though. We'll see if I can open this uh, treasure chest finally. Oh my, oh my gosh, what the heck? Magnificent meal. I, I'm speechless. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I just can't believe it. Please don't empty your bank account. <laughs> You're just so generous. This is that's just insane. Oh my gosh. Wow. Seriously, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that is, that's just amazing. That is incredible. You have totally made my day, Magnificent Mail. Thank you so much. So you're not able to travel? Oh, because of, is it mainly because of COVID related stuff? Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's dark again, guys. I love this horse's sound effect when he's walking, though. That's really cool. Man, where am I going? I'm going to be so lost. 
<laughs> you subbed the Magnificent. He doesn't have a channel, does he? Does he have a channel? Do you have a channel, Magnificent? Seriously, you do? What do you do on your channel? Man, you gotta go post, is it gaming related stuff? Here's this treasure chest that I can never open. Oh look, I think I just found a bug. I, I said go toward the chest and the horse keeps going in circles. Just intros of games you like. Ah, cool. I did not know that. You're on the Discord, I know. I don't know if you go in there much, but um, on the Discord channel, I have a Your Channels link on the left. Yeah, this he, it's stuck. The game doesn't know what to do. That was really weird. Um, go there and post, post a link to your channel. Why am I taking poison damage? That's weird. Yeah, that was a weird bug. Unless that poison never wore off. Maybe it's permanent. Yeah, I'll have to... If you post that there, then I, I'll be able to... Everybody will be able to find it. Yeah, I did not know you had a channel. Okay, let's see here. Uh, how are we going to do this? Wiggles. Powder, powder, bag. Club, bracelet. Okay, now it's empty. <laughs> Got back on the horse. Oh man, thanks again. I'm going to move some of Oh, this is so cool. It's starting to really become light now. Now we're able to see a lot more. I must be by the town because I can hear the bell chiming. <laughs> oh, you like to stay hidden? What? No, you don't. No one. Why would you have a channel then? Well, if you don't want to post it there, then I'll find you, or maybe Gauntlet can send me a private message to your channel that he found. He used to be in chat. You could right click or click on a person's name and then go to their channel that way. And YouTube, of course, removed that feature. So now you can't even do that. Okay, it's finally daytime, guys. Gauntlet says Wiggles.com is an Amazon page. <laughs> really? That's funny. Yeah, of course YouTube removed it, <laughs> Andrew says. Oh, they've really they really messed up the streaming too. Okay, let me see if Sh Shira needs to be healed of poison. Hundred and fifty two gold. Oh, there was there was a little there was a little icon there to show the poison. Oh That's why it cost so much to resurrect Wiggles this last time. He was still poisoned. So it looks like maybe in this game poison is permanent. Like it is in Bard's Tale. That makes sense. Okay. So we just cured Shira's poison. Alright. That's the thing when you play a game blind like this. 
You know, it's like almost like a detective. You just find a clue here and there, and it's like, oh yeah, that now it makes sense. Okay, we're totally cured now. I was expecting it to be like wizardry poison, where it wears off over time. Oh gosh, don't be sorry. No, I understand. If you don't want to share that, that's fine. No, no problem at all. Gauntlet said you should name your horse Wiggles. <laughs> or Stomp. Stomps. I like how in the background they make it look like... I, I always feel like I'm going downhill. No matter how you do this because of how they have that background placed. No matter which direction I'm going, I feel like I'm going downhill. And then as the renderer is close enough to objects, it starts placing the real objects. Like, watch that tree on the left. See that? As I move back and forward a little bit, it just suddenly appears. But it works! Because that background there, where they have like a static bitmap of those trees, they actually even move when you do this. And then it just fills in. It works. I like it. It's still dark in the woods, though. Poppins, yeah. <laughs> what was that? No, it's just the terrain. But doesn't it to you feel like you're always going downhill? Now watch, I'll turn around and it still feels kind of downhill. Well, that looks uphill, actually. I take, I take back what I said. That does look uphill. It's because behind it, it looks like it then goes downhill. But let's see, as you get closer, then that disappears. Okay, it looks like we finally made it to some lake or something. That's pretty cool. Let me save it because I don't know what kind of trouble I'm going to get into here. Can I go in the water? Am I sinking? Wow! I'm not, I'm not sinking. Ooh, who's that? He's running. What was that? Now you have it. Now you don't. Uh oh. Oh, she's attacking me. What is it? Lake Nymph. She attacked me first. Let's see if I have my spell points back. Evil nymphs. That is one heck of a scream. What'd she cast? Slow. Wow. That was quite dramatic. I'm out of fire. Let's do shock. Hey, Manny, welcome to the stream. No, you did not miss it. You're pretty late, but I'm still going. We're fighting some lake nymphs. They just attacked me.
scroll. Something's talking. You are Ukabu of Toads. Toads need a Ukabu. You need know what Ukabu means? <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. He said, I, I heard this voice. The surround sounds fantastic. I heard this voice. I turned around and this guy was talking to me. So it, it was saying what was going down here in the dialogue area. So far I have traveled to meet you. You are... Ukab you are Ukabu of Toads. Toads need a Ukabu. You know, you need know what Ukabu means. Yes. Far east from here, you find Magnificent meal! God. Oh my gosh! You need find Thank you and so it. much. It wow. Please don't empty your bank account, please. Oh, I am so God. grateful, but I don't want you to just... He spends, you've spent so much money on me. I appreciate it tremendously, but please, don't go poor. <laughs> That's just insane. Yeah, I can quit my day job. <laughs> Man, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh, Manny says, swings rapier. Who swings a rapier? Yeah, that's a good point. Gauntlet says, I got Lord of Midnight, was a bug in cart as I had two items in it I already owned. Had to move it to a wish list. Oh, okay, cool. It says, Ukabu needs, need toads. Toads need Ukabu. Go now. Okay, so we need to try to obviously get some toads for him. Uh-oh, here comes some more of these nymphs. Will they talk with me? Oh, she can't sleep on me. Hail. Toad? Oh, so what's happening is these keywords are appearing in here, I think, based on what other people have said. And so it's like a shortcut, basically. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. What, what's going on here? Oh my gosh. Magnificent meal. I just don't know what to say. I just... I just can't say anything else. No, you are amazing. I appreciate that, but you are amazing. Wow. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Man. It's just... This is, yeah, just unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Andrew says, it would be nice to build a stream and make videos for a living. Not sure if Dee's partner would agree. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be that would be absolutely amazing to do. But Manny says, more pixel jubilees. Yeah. Yeah, and they're attacking me. I tried to talk to them. Ooh, five of my guys are asleep now. Okay. But they didn't want to talk, so I have to fight them. Hey, James Jotes, welcome. How are you doing this afternoon or evening or morning, depending on where you're at? <laughs> yeah, Magnificent Meal is amazing. The way the show is poured, indeed. Incredible. So grateful. It's like it makes me uh, forget how, where I'm even at in the game. Got so distracted. Okay, let's see. Uh, what am I doing? We're going to cast Shock again. 
Okay. That is very dramatic. Oh, that takes a turn to pick up an item. I just realized that. If you're in combat and you pick something up, it take, it uses your turn up. Oh, we found some kind of powder. And here's a potion. This is probably a healing potion. Let's use it on her. Yeah, it was. Okay, we, we'll we have Wiggles try to kill her. Manny says, nymphs, they can't keep their hands off you. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Just not in a good way. <laughs> Sass Dam says, a very profitable stream. Hopefully for everyone. For me, 100%. Hopefully for you guys, you're getting some cool entertainment out of this, too. Let's see. Oh, I got my burn spell points back. Wow, that was kind of cool. It actually pushed her back as the fire hit her. Did you see that? Wow. This game is awesome. For the year 2000. I mean, that's... Crazy. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Gauntlet says nymph e equals over actress. Yeah, it's got good voice acting. That's for sure. Now, the question is, how can I get toads? Because it sounds like those that one guy wants toads. I wonder if there's going to be some in the water. Let's save it. I'm going to put Lake Nymph, N-Y-M, wait a minute, P-T-H? Also, let's see if we can level up. Uh, how do we do that? No. Oh, we right-click, that's right. And then Journal. Wow, we're close. Only 237 experience for these guys. 487 for Tor, and Wiggles needs 609. Okay. It is pretty, the game. I agree. Wow. This is a big area. Got dark. Okay, let's get nice and lost. Treasure chest. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. It's more than nymphs. Oh no. They put us to sleep. Manny says, how do they paint those trees? I've tried making stuff that a while back it looked like crap. And I wasn't restricted to 64 by 64 textures. I have no idea, Manny.
Ooh, wiggles. Okay, well, she's out of those spell points. But her shock spell came back. Oh, healing potions enabled. There we go. Fight. No, I don't have torchlight yet. I really need to get that spell. Yeah. I agree, it is really dark right here. There's probably things in the manual. Now look, when it's She-Ra's turn, all of a sudden, it's brighter. Oh, you know what I was just wondering? I wonder if these Felpers, or whatever they're called, have like infravision. And when she's in the party lead, it makes it look like torchlight. Like either ultravision or infravision or something. Because look how light it is with her. And then when it's his turn, it gets dark. I bet that's what that is. See, it's dark for Flynn. It's even dark for Wiggles. And then when it's she turn, all of a sudden it gets light. That's pretty cool. So basically, we could just walk around with her having focused the whole time and maybe we won't need torches. Okay, cool. Now we can just deal with these. Yeah, see? It's bright when it's Shiva's turn. That's cool. That's a cool mechanic. I tell you, D.W. Bradley is an absolute genius for design. Man, I still see Magnificent Meals donation up there. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is awesome. Incredible. Oh, I spell points. The other kind of cool thing is, so far I haven't, like, felt an extreme danger. Well, that's not true. I feel like I'm in danger, but I'm not dying, like, like in Wizardry 6. You know, your whole party can be wiped out so quickly. And then this... You know, I had one character die. I think I've died twice a single character, but... You know, I... It's not, like, super unfair. Or, like, in the gold box games right off the bat. Whoa, she just kicked me. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> oh my gosh! Magnificent! You are magnificent. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh. I just... I'm incredibly grateful. Wow. I am going to work so hard on getting that colonization review done for you as soon as I can. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. I will put in tons of time on that. Ooh, nice. Put her to sleep. That witch, witch's stick has been like such a good find. Yeah, it is. It's permanently etched in the chat. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Andrew says I wouldn't know what to do in this situation. I don't either. I, I've never had this situation before. He's given before, always extremely generous, but today he's like over the top. Extremely generous. I, I feel like an idiot not knowing what to say. <laughs> it's like, you can only say so much, you know? 
but but I'm sure you know how much I appreciate it. Just tremendously. And I will prove it based on getting that review done as soon as I can. Man, this had all kinds of stuff. Cure poison potions, scrolls, a spear. Oh, here, let's do our test. I'm going to flip the view to She-Ra. Yes! That's awesome! So she, like these Felpers or whatever they are, they have like a permanent vision. Ultra vision or in, ultra, in, let's see, there's infravision, which is being able to detect heat. And then there's ultra vision, which is seeing ultraviolet light, I think. And like in Dungeons and Dragons, I think elves have ultra vision and dwarves and gnomes have infravision. So maybe it's a similar concept. <laughs> Gandhi says it's a hint. Get back to work on the review. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, loads of money. That's just, I, I'm so grateful. Incredible. Sastam says perhaps he's drunk. No, no, no. I know you're joking, but. <laughs> no, he's just so generous. Yeah, cat vision. So don't cats, they see good at nighttime, right? Because they do see certain wavelengths of ultraviolet light. And it reflects off the moon, the sunlight. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what that is. Okay, wow, I gotta get back to town. I found so much cool stuff. Uh oh. Oh there's these are just trolls, okay. Wow, we one shot him. Man, this game, I could see it taking up so much of your time playing it. It's just such a sense of exploration and all this item scavenging is kind of fun too. Manny says, no, their eyes amplify the light like it bounces around in their eyeball more or something. And Andrew says, no wonder they get stunned in front of headlights. Yeah, you can see, like, when you look at their eyes and light shines off it, you can see them, like, glowing. Gauntlet says, you have to go back to town and put the loot in the bag. Yeah, exactly. You're outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. It's only you, buddy. <laughs> what the... That's really funny. You're outnumbered. It's me and all my invisible buddies right here. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I got to try to find my way back to town. So this lake, man, it's huge. My best bet's probably to go back in the water. Wow, this is steep. And find that dock. So I'll go around the uh, coast. Yeah, there it is, I think. Yeah, so now I think I can just head this direction on the road until I can find my way back. YouTube loot, yeah. I've got Uber YouTube loot today. Manny says, yeah, it's what causes their eyes to grow. Wow, that's crazy. I did not know that. Yeah, we well, got to go back and get this axe identified. Ooh, she -Ruff. Boom. Keep forgetting about that. So I don't even need torches on. 
James says they got those eye slits that open and close. And Manny says the low draw distance actually makes everything feel bigger. It does! It really does! Because of that background there. Like most games will just have a static background back there that is kind of lame. But this one looks dynamic. Like when you turn, you can see the mountain and everything and the trees moving. They did a great job on that. Alright, now the question is, do I go that direction or this direction? Hmm. Let's try going right first. I sense a troll goonie nearby. Oh, there they are. Oh! Okay. Let's shoot. It's so cool that you can choose to fight in ranged combat and shoot like that. You know, if you have ranged weapons, or you can move up. You know, in both ways, it works fine. <laughs> Magnificent meal! We need to change your name to Magnificent Giver. What the heck? He says, not drunk. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just don't know what to say. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You have just blown my mind. That you weren't supposed to do anymore. You said that was the last one. What the heck? Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. Gosh. Oh, don't know what to say. You've totally, totally made my week. Yeah, we need to change your name. <laughs> Magnificent supporter. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, wow. So, I feel like the party's getting pretty darn strong. Just been able to kill a whole bunch of trolls like that now all of a sudden. What is this? I'm gonna have so much loot. Okay, let's flip back to Shira. <laughs> Stam says that's what they all say when Magnificent Meal said he wasn't drunk. And Andrew says confirmed drunk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, it is just so cool how that background works like that. I am really impressed. It's not easy to impress me with games because I've played so many. Okay. And this was 20 years ago. That's just crazy. Alright, so let's do the shop. I just still can't believe it. Okay. Ooh, this is a cool looking shield. Look at this. It's 12 bucks to identify. A turtle shield. Wow. Plus two shield rating. Weighs 11. Interesting. Here's a pike. Wooden club. Powder. Costs 37 to identify? Sapping powder. That's cool. Yes! Magnific Magnificent Meal is on the Patreon support list. He's also a pat patron. He's been a patron for probably like two years now. He's just incredibly generous. It's unbelievable. War Axe. Okay, what did that say? Oh. And then another rusted small sword. Hmm. 
Bloodless Potion, Greater Healing Potion, nice. Scroll of Sloth, Scroll of Fear, more Sapping Powder. Scroll of Blessing, another Pike, and some Willow Arrows. Gauntlet says this game reminds me of Wizardry 8, but has a nice retro flair to it, too. Yeah. I agree. It's a nice change of pace, because Wizardry 8, you know, is probably my favorite RPG. And the more I play this, it's like I could see this being a contender. You know, if it ends up keep going the way I'm expecting it to go, another greater healing potion. This could end up being one of the best RPGs of all time, too. Just, I mean, D.W. Bradley's just so such a good designer. I wanted to get an interview with him if possible. So Andrew had looked up a, a guy on Twitch that actually did do a sh very short interview. Really, he just got questions answered by uh, David. And I think they both live in Japan, so maybe he ran across them in Japan somehow. And that's how he knew them. But I texted the guy and he never responded to me. I just wanted to get David's contact information and see if he would be willing to do some kind of interview, but I didn't, my hopes were pretty low. Because wouldn't that be crazy to be able to get like a real interview like a video interview or something where you could ask him questions and go back and forth that would have been awesome <laughs> Andrew said Twitter maybe the guy made it up <laughs> no I doubt it okay Manny says lol you have to even analyze mundane weapons. Imagine wanting to be a warrior and not knowing what a weapon is and the basics of what to do with it. Me warrior, analyze stick. Why it's so long? <laughs> yeah, you can use it. You know it's a, like a sword or something. You just don't know the specifics about it. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. All right, so now let's sell. These healing potions are really useful. Turtle shell you can sell for 22. Uh, I need to give him a shield. Boom. It's a gork using a turtle shell. Oh, I think it updated it. It did. It updated his little graphic there in the upper left corner. You see it? He has the shield on his arm now. That's cool. It's level up time too, it looks like. Okay, let's go to the next person. Uh, 56 for the pike. Cool. Wow, 225 for the sapping powder. Quantity 3. I wonder if sapping means like sleeping powder. Manny says a shield made of a turtle shell that's neat, near perfect for him since he's all barbaric looking. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to go ahead and sell that. I find myself not using the ranged attacks as much. Because <clears throat> then I have to pick up all the projectiles afterwards. Hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these scrolls. Because that's not worth that much. But this sapping powder, wow! 375. Quantity 5, yeah, let's get rid of that. I have the blessed spell, so I'll get rid of this. But, here's what's interesting. Bless in this game only affects one character. It doesn't affect the whole party. Andrew says, I don't think even Mac Matt Barton interviewed D.W. Bradley. You're right, he didn't. I don't think he's given any in-person interviews. Like, on, on cam or anything. That's why I was really going to... Basically, point him to my channel and say, Look, I've been doing this over 12 years now on YouTube. And one of my first reviews was of your game, Wizardry 6. Which is an amazing awesome game and I have you know utter respect for you as a designer so that he knew I was wasn't just trying to get you know just like a bunch of video views or something you know no I want people to know what he's done and I want to be able to ask him questions and you know get some information out about what he's done but oh well just how it goes sometimes Okay, I think we've sold everything that we need to sell. Oh, wait, I do have more. We need to equip that. Okay. Let's see, Flynn, do you have? No, you don't. Okay. Boom. Manny says, weird, are there different positions in combat, like front and back? I don't know. I can't figure that out yet. I haven't read the manual because I wanted to play this blind. So I'm not really sure, Manny. Is DW Bradley retired? I don't know that either. That That's why I wanted to try to, <laughs> wanted to, try to get an interview with him. It's, it's almost like he just doesn't want to be found. And, and maybe he doesn't, and that's fine. You know, if he would just say that, that would be fine. Then people would know, but... Okay. Let's see here. We haven't been to the magic shop for a while. Let's see how much gold we have now. Yes, we have 1,500 gold now. Is there anything in here worthwhile? I think we could join a guild, actually. Uh, Wizard's Guild for Helena. We just joined. It was 500 gold. The League of Sorcery welcomes you. So I wonder what that means. Roll Ascension. Training. Oh. This is where we can change classes. Like we can start specializing. Magnificent Meal. What the heck? I thought you were done. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the top of that chat bar. Is that in the video? That's got to be in the video, right? It is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll just stream eight hours straight. Just for his honor. It's like, oh my gosh. Magnificent meal. Thank you so much. That is incredible. Oh. <laughs> That's what I feel like. That little fox jumping with all the little explosions. My mind's blown. And <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Thanks so much. <laughs> Gauntlet says I'm impressed. Yeah, that's one word for it <laughs> I'm absolutely amazed okay oh bringing tears to my eyes okay let's see so 
It looks like, yeah, I know how in this game it's really weird when you start. I read just a tiny bit of the manual, I didn't read the whole thing. But it said, you're only four, there's only four possible classes in the beginning, like fighter, a caster that's like a priest, a caster that's kind of like a wizard, and a rogue, I think. And as you join guilds, then you can start becoming different classes. Like, in other words, you progress. But you can only progress based on the guild type and what class you currently are. So it's almost like a career path that you have to go down. So, Warlock, it says I need... Oh, so yeah, this would be good to know because now I know what things I need to increase to get to that. Dexterity to become a bard. Okay, cool. Now there was also a training. What does this do? Helena can can not study intellect any farther. Study level 2 suncraft. Oh, so this is how you can get more spells maybe? Level 2 stonecraft. I don't have any stone spells yet, I don't think. Let me do this and see, just to see what happens. Grants me the teaching. Okay, so now let me see if that shows up. I guess I gotta exit the guild. Wow, this is crazy. Let's see. Skills or spells. Spellbook. Oh, here's stone. I did have stone. Okay. So it unlocked level 2 spells, but I don't have any. So does that just mean I can learn them now? When I level up? Well, let's try it. Level up. Magnificent meal not done yet. What the heck? Oh my gosh. You're just blowing my mind. Thank you so much. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Let me think for a minute here if I can. <laughs> Hard to concentrate, guys. Sorry. Um... All right, so if I wanted to become a bard, it said I need dexterity. So let me start working on that. Go next. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see what happened here. I jumped straight from one to two, I guess. So I paid money to increase a skill. Ah, okay. So I wonder what Raisin Sorcery would do. Proof Sorcery skill. Oh, I got two? Okay. <clears throat> Manny says, why is Bard a skull with a jester hat? <laughs> I don't know. Gauntlet says someone just gave up their bonus check or month's salary. I know, right? Magnificent Mail says, okay, YouTube won't let me super chat you anymore. I don't blame them. They're probably like, what, what are you doing? You've just emptied your entire banking account. <laughs> you have given just mind-boggling amounts. I am super appreciative, Magnificent Mail. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, YouTube is like, what are you doing? <laughs> Manny says, I think that would be pretty creepy if bards were able to cast dangerous spells through their instruments. Yeah, actually, you can in some of the wizardries. Um, you can, there's like a, what is it called? The pipes of, devil's pipes. There's devil's pipes, which makes you weak. And then there's something of terror. Loot of terror? I don't remember what it's called. 
but it does the terror spell. So yeah, just imagine like some really creepy sound coming out of a bard's instrument. I agree, Andrew. That was an utter epic show by Magnificent Meal. It's crazy. Yeah. He's so generous. Gauntlet says, I kind of like the idea of bards being able to cast various types of spells. Maybe that doesn't fit the bard type character, though, that I know. Yes, in Wizardry 6, the bard could cast mage spells. Yep. A and they could use the magical instruments. Okay, so do I get a spell? Oh, yeah, nice. Here we go, level 2. So that's what that did. So if your realm spell or realm skill is high enough, then that allows you to get a next level spells. Because see here, I can't get the level 2 fire spells yet. But now I can get the level 2 uh, stone. So what is that called? Melt and Zap. I think I just took... I just take zap? No. I don't know what each of these do. Let me look real quick. I have the manual somewhere. Because I don't want to make a stupid decision on these spells. Okay, so melt causes the armor or height of the targets to soften, rendering it more vulnerable to damage. So that's like armor melt. Zap cast magical bolt of energy at the target and flick in up to 14 damage. So I definitely want that. Go with Zap. Nice. Okay, wow. This is just crazy. What an awesome day, guys. Magnificent Mail being so generous. All you guys chatting. What? Watching. One of the best games, RPGs. This is just wonderful. Manny says, nah, I mean bards, I'm sure would be able to be popular in jobs in a tavern. And what if one of them casts fear and causes a riot or a panic? Yeah, that would be pretty funny. <laughs> Joker level shenanigans. Cause the whole bar to fall asleep and take their wallets. Yeah, there you go. That would work. <laughs> Barkeeps would be like, I'm going to need to examine your loot for magical properties. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's starting to become evening again. The, scar the sky is getting a dark blue color now. Well, thanks again, Magnificent Meal. YouTube cut you off. See, maybe YouTube thinks you're drunk too. Like Saztam did. <laughs> it's cool how the arrows actually stick out of the enemy when you shoot them. Hmm. He takes the bag, but he won't pick this up. Some things they take automatically, and other things you have to manually pick up. I'm still trying to figure that out. YouTube probably triggered it as spam. <laughs> that would be funny. Good old artificial ignorance of YouTube. Ooh, skeleton just came out of the ground. Do you see that? Dead skeleton. Oh, magnificent meal. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day too. Thank you. I, my day is incredible. Thanks to you. Thanks. Thanks so much. Yeah, I hope you can catch some more too. And I will get that review done. Believe me. I will do give it my all. Thank you so much. 
Spooky. Yeah, these trolls are cool, aren't they, Manny? It's hard, you know, when you play so many games like I have, it's hard to find games that are actually exciting. That it's like, man, I want to keep playing this. This is one of those games. It, it actually is exciting to play. That's just so rare for me. High five to Magnificent Meal. Yeah, I agree, guys. That was super, super kind of him. He's gonna. He he wants to be uh, not well known. Well, he just did a bad job of becoming one of the most famous YouTube people on the channel now. <laughs> Manny says Wizard Raid had the monster infighting. Yeah. Oh, the skeletons you're talking about. Will skeletons fight the trolls or anything like in Wizardry? Ah, I haven't played enough to know that yet. I'm guessing yes if you make them go insane or something. Uh, but I, since I this is only my like, you know, three, I've only played this three to five hours. I haven't got to that point. I suspect yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need to finish my level ups. What am I doing? So now Shira is going to be level three. Oh, I wish I knew what attributes I need to change the class on them. The best thing for me to do would probably be to make them more well balanced. Let's see. Let's do dexterity. Oh, I got one more point. Okay, agility. <laughs> Andrew says executive producer status. Yeah, exactly. Gosh, I could I could quit my day job. <laughs> Let's see. One skill to increase. Hmm. It's not I'm trying to hover over that, but it, for some reason this keeps let me get out of here first. Maybe it's because I'm in combat or something weird. Oh, I can't. I have to pick something. Well, let's do pulling staff. Just in case I find a cool weapon. Okay, let me get out of there. Now let me try to go back in. Yeah, monster infighting is always fun, isn't it? like you could just it's almost like you just get some popcorn and sit back and watch him fight and duke it out Andrew said, I just did the market rate exchange. And he said, damn, that was super generous. Daryl is handling, handling this much better than I would have. I I don't know how to handle it. I really don't. I mean, I just... It really is it makes me speechless where I'm kind of dumbfounded on what to say. It's incredible. It's so generous. I keep getting distracted. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Six hit points, one agility point. Is that what that said? Oh, ability point. Okay. So, yeah, I think I need to just keep trying to balance this so that when I try to do my class changes, I have a good chance of becoming the next one. Let's see. I guess sword. Manny says, all these weapon types, but do they do different things? I don't know how to answer that. I mean, 
probably all just do base damage of certain types, you know, and certain ones maybe have greater hit chances and has special attack abilities. Let's max out the spirituality. Oh, we get another point. This is kind of my priest or cleric type. Uh, I wonder, choose two skills, okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. So it is like training, like in the old wizardries. It's gone up a little bit over time as you use it. Prove Minecraft skill to to level one, ninety four percent. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll do. Let's do that. Okay, so we get a new spell. First level, second level. What's repel do? Look in the manual. Causes monsters to avoid attacking the target. Oh. Okay, sorry, I have to mute that when my dog starts barking. All right, let's see here. The dog isn't that bad, it's because I muted it. <laughs> I got my Yeti microphone sitting right here, and it's pointed toward me, but I'm sure when she barks, it's probably like, Poof! blast to the eardrums. Manny says, I like when an axe or a mace do more damage to specific things, or bladed weapons have a higher higher critical hit rate and the faster. Yeah, I think that is true in this, just like in wizardry. Like maces, hammers, and that have a knockout chance. And generally the swords and daggers, you know, if you thrust will do more greater chance to penetrate armor, uh, or just increase your hit chance. So I don't know that for sure, but I suspect that's the case. Ooh, skeleton's coming out again. Yeah, he's, I'm not sure what Magnificent Mail is referring to which of Andrew's comments, but, oh, it's because of the one he said earlier, okay. Yeah, he's super, 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 I can't ask for a better supporter, it's just incredible. So thank you so much. Yeah, and Andrew knows that. mind-boggling Manny says ooh knockout chance that could be fun yeah and I, I have on her 
I found this witch's stick, which has a sleep special, and it seems to be pretty effective. Like, it seems to trigger pretty often. That's been cool. Sleep is different in general than knockout. Usually sleep, when you hit something or do something to someone that's asleep, it'll wake them up. Whereas the knockout's kind of a forced sleep. And hitting them when they're unconscious, they'll still remain unconscious. That's how it is in Wizardry. I don't know if this game does it the same way. I'm assuming it will. Oh yeah, all you guys are super supportive. No, Yeah, I appreciate you all. This Magnificent Meal is just incredibly financial supportive. That's just unbelievable. But yeah, I don't think I don't appreciate just the talking and the chatting and everything. I like this. It's easier to kill the bats in this game. <laughs> We don't have to swing 10,000 times like in Wizardry. Wow, this is really cool looking. Look at this. Which way do I go? Hmm. It is an awesome community. Oh, there's piranha biting me in the water. Whoa. That's what those are. Look at that. Can I shoot him? I can shoot him? Or did it not really work? Wow. Did you see that? They even put in water effects. So that arrows, when they hit the water, they don't go straight down. Look at that. It redirects them. <laughs> That is cool. This game is 20 years old. Oh, I'm out of range. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Protect your man worms, Max says piranhas. Ooh, what the? I'm underwater? Wow, I was underwater. Did you see that? I don't think I want to be doing that. I'll probably drown. Well, if they can hit me, I should be able to hit them. Yeah, exactly, Andrew. Just watching the channel is big support. Absolutely. Lagoon Piranha. Those are some big piranha. Oh, it's asleep. Nice. Wow. I can still pick up my arrows, too. Oh, I'm underwater again. Wow. That's incredible. Do you see that? How did I do that? I don't know how I went underwater like that. Weird. Gauntlet says, I was watching how people create their own dragon dice. Some mold, some use 3D printer. Or com combinations are pretty interesting. I like the dice towers and trays as well. My grandpa would have said, punch the fish and the gangungi. What is that? Magnificent supporter, thank you so much. Unbelievable. 
Gauntlet says, I have no idea, Romeo. Yeah, I don't know what that would mean either, Gauntlet. Manny says, giant piranhas and naked boob nymphs. It's a high f fantasy version of Piranha 3D. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thanks again, magnificent now. <laughs> Jeez. So, so generous. Okay, let's see. I'm just kind of wandering around blindly, obviously. Oh, let's put Shira. Keep forgetting that she has like ultra vision or whatever. I feel like Lewis and Clark in the United States going down the river trying to explore, not knowing what's next. Man, I think Jake would like this game. He was asking for an open world concept game where you can do a lot of exploring. This is a lot of exploring. Oh, well thank you so much Magnificent Mail. Yes, please just watch the stream, enjoy. I'm so grateful. I'm surprised YouTube did let you keep going like that. He is awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, supposedly Lewis and Clark um, had to pull their boat a lot of times. Like along the side of the river when they couldn't actually have it on the river. And they were going upstream and stuff. At least that's what I had heard. I don't I'm not a historian, obviously, but there's certain areas they had to do that. That that's just crazy. <clears throat> just took a little dip and now heading back. <laughs> You can hear the sound effects of the birds in the background. That's nice. Hey, Chris, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Chris from the Lost Sector channels here. He's got a great YouTube channel if you guys haven't checked his out. Yeah, no leeches. It looks like we, we made it out without leeches on us. Yeah, this game's incredible, Chris. I am so impressed. I'm actually excited to play it. D.W. Bradley's uh, Wizards and Warriors. Wizard and Warriors. Are these? These are just regular fish. Okay. Well, I don't want to kill them. Let's see what happens if I try to talk to them. Hail. Uh, nothing. I thought maybe there'd be a joke. Like, like it would say something like, Are you talking to fish again? Yeah, Chris and Matt um, on the Lost Sectors, they do kind of like book club style reviews of games where they talk about it after they've played it. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, I'm getting some lag here. Hmm. Looks like I found a new area. This is really interesting, I think. Glad you're doing good, Chris. You have to speak fish, yeah. <laughs> Sastam says, haul him off to the loony bin. <laughs> Manny says, I never see leeches in fantasy except when they're dummies. Forte verse, I have a leech spell. Purifying leeches. <clears throat> the Voker casts it. Okay, so here's a ladder, maybe. Can I climb it? 
Oh, I did. Okay, so what's up here? Ooh, I found somebody. Let me save it. Before I get killed. Let's see, what is this? Uh, I'm gonna put docks because I don't, I don't know what to put. Hold. Do not yet out hold village or you will be attacked. Poor people are good. I am Ikbu. Do not hurt or poor people become bad. Warm skin, not welcome here. You are warm skin. So you not welcome here. Turn around and go back to Wolfskin land. Go now or Ikbu summon God. Wow. That's cool. Too bad I don't have like a summon spell. Ikbu not talk to Wolfskin. Wolfskin leave now. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll leave. I don't want to I don't want to take you off. <laughs> that was funny sound effects. As I fell into the water, did you hear that everybody scream? That was cool, cool dialogue. Sazdam says, does this have an Iron Man mode? I'm not really sure, Sazdam. When I created the game, there were some options. I don't remember if I saw something like that. Oop. Okay. Hopefully she won't bark anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, the dialogue's really good, too. Manny says, well, yeah, survival games. Green hell has leeches that cover you up as soon as you step foot in the water. You gotta rip them off. Ah, okay. Cool. One second. Okay. That's too bad. I, I, I really don't want to go in this village because I don't want to cause chaos. Uh oh. He's yelling, kill warm skins. Attack. I hear a bunch of noise. Crush damage. Toad guard takes crush damage. The toad guard dies. It says that in the text. What's going on? What was that all about? Yeah, was that a weird glitch? That was strange. It was like making a noise of like a machine or something weird. What is that? Are these piranhas? I really didn't want to make enemies, but I accidentally did, I guess. Yeah, leech is the uh, medieval cure for everything. Yeah, absolutely. Get rid of poison. And, and I know some shaman or shaman 
would like if people had headaches they would actually drill a hole in the person's head because they thought it was like pressure re related and then uh, try to cure headaches that way there's all kinds of crazy things people did in the past I mean, I know leeches work well for some, like, real poison and toxins. But I think they used them, like, for other things, too, that they shouldn't have. Warm skin burnt me. What? Look at that down there. Warm skin burnt me. Attack. I guess we gotta slaughter him, <laughs> he says. Magnificent meal! What? You're still going! Oh my gosh! Thank you! What the heck? And YouTube's letting you do it! YouTube didn't cut you off anymore. What the heck? Thank you so much. I'm trying to get the ultra vision working. I feel like I'm kind of lost. Where's the ladder? <laughs> Magnificent ingredient, Gauntlet says. Indeed. I don't see a ladder. Did he pull up the ladder? So we can't get up there now? Huh. Uh oh. Oh. You keep saying that, Magnificent Male. You've, you've given so much. It's bordering on the ridiculous. Thank you so much. So yes, please. Don't make, don't keep trying to make YouTube let the donations through. You have just been incredibly generous. I just, I just don't want you to empty your bank account. It's just nuts. It's just crazy. I just, still at a loss for words. Manny says, oh yeah, reminds me of Master and Commander. Doctor drilling a guy's head and another crew member asks, or oi is that that's his brains and the doctor's like no that's his brains what <laughs> gauntlet says homeless person how did you get to be on the street i gave all my money to someone on youtube i know right what the heck? He's so generous. It's incredible. It just blows my mind. I just can't say how much I appreciate it. Alright, since I'm kind of lost, I'm going to go up here and see if this guy will talk with me now. Or is he the guy that died? Oh. I can't tell. Is that like a... He's down there somehow. Weird. Shira smashes the barrel. There's a potion in there. Look at this, you can even like push objects like that. Will it fall? Is it gonna fall? It fell. Wow, that's cool. This game was released in 2000. And it even implements physics like that. That's unbelievable. I can see the guy down there. Whoa. 
I guess I just fell. I don't know if I'm on the ladder or if I fell down or what. He can't reach me, I guess. Watch those ladders, yeah. <laughs> okay, Magnificent Meal, that does make me feel a lot better. Thank you so much. He says, don't worry, I got the money since I can't travel right now. Well, that's cool. Thank you so much. Oh, I was like on the guy's head. <laughs> that was weird. There's the broken barrel that I pushed down there. So yeah, I like fell down, landed on his head. And then when he when I finally killed him, oh. Oh, are they stuck? What? Look at them, they're like walking in place. It's gotta be a glitch, right? What does that say? Totem stool. Oh, he finally came through, okay. Yeah, they were stuck. Interesting. <laughs> Wall lizards, yeah. Okay, Manny, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Andrew says those late 90s and early 2000 ladders were death traps. Yeah, they were. Wizardry 8, sometimes if you try to climb a ladder or a rope, it glitches out. It's extremely rare, but it'll actually crush you into the ceiling and you'll die. So that happened to me once during Iron Man, and I alt-tabbed out real quick, copied my game file, and I was okay. But it was super close, because when you die in Iron Man, it deletes your game file from the drive. And it's like an instant death when that happens. I want to try one of my new spells on, the, on one of these. Right here, she wants to cast Zap. Oh, that was a cool effect. Wow. It was zapped. Are these guys stuck? Oh. <laughs> I can't target. Control to target. That was interesting. Is he like running? Oh, is it because it's a villager? Oh, it's a villager, that's why. Okay. I hailed. But of course he's not gonna say anything since I attacked him. I don't want to hurt the villagers. Powder, club, shield. Wow, they have lots of clubs on the ground here. Wow. I think I'm in some kind of mine. Gosh, it's so dark, I can't 
see. So yeah, that does make me feel like the cats have ultra vision or something, the Felpers. Oh, I just went in a big circle. Or did I? No, this is new. Great. Is there nothing in it? There's nothing in it. Okay. Is there another one here? Hmm. How do you climb the ladder? I'm trying to push against it. not working. I'm trying to click on it. I know it is so dark, isn't it, Andrew? Clicking on it's not doing anything. Let's see. Steal, talk, use, give. I don't see a way to like use a skill. Watch me be stuck down here forever. Hmm. If anybody knows what to do or has ideas, let me know. I feel like I'm stuck. Oh. I just pushed backwards. And I took damage. Oh, there it goes. Ugh. There we go. Man. Yeah, you gotta be careful climbing the ladders. Okay, we made it out. I think this is the same one that I came in on. Okay. Wow, it is so dark. I know, sorry Andrew, it is so dark that we can't see it. Just worried about Wiggle's safety. <laughs> oh. Zap. Oh, so this is the guy that was I talked to originally. He's like the NPC guy. Let's heal. No bagpipes yet, no. I don't have a bard. You can't make a bard right away.
So what time is it right now, Andrew, where you're at in Hawaii? There we go. Took down Ekbu. Got a spear. 10 a.m.? Oh, okay, cool. So it's, uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. All right. I know it's got to be late where Magnificent Meal's at. Let's see. Probably around midnight, maybe? Heal. Alright, we'll save the game again. I feel like I could get out of this area. I'm uh, kind of lost here. Let's make sure we don't have any pending level ups. Ooh, yeah, wiggles. One hit point, two ability points. Hmm. I feel like, you know, I would want him to become like a ninja or something since he's a rogue right now. And I'm guessing he's going to need more strength. So I'm going to bump that. Okay, let's see here. Traps and locks, probably. One more skill. Hmm. Let's do athletics. Magnificent Meal says, um, yeah, it's 10 p.m. in Denmark right now. Andrew says, I know Sweden is 12 hours ahead of me. Yeah, he is halfway around the world. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's see. Save it again. See if I can find the town again. I'd really like to find that one guy that I found the first time. Where I couldn't figure out how to trade, because I think I may know how to do it now. But I'm just going to have to walk a certain direction and see if I can hit land. I'm looking at the mini map down there, it shows you the arrow. So I haven't gone this direction yet. There we go, I think I'm on a path now. I'm just looking at that mini map in the lower left corner. Because it's pitch black, but I can still see that. Wow. Huh. That's really helping. Now I'm running into something. What is it? Oh, I was like trying to get up on a dock or something. Hmm. 
Hmm. Piranhas are biting me as I'm trying to figure out how to get up on this dog. Okay. Andrew says, do you have any secrets to writing a review script? You're going to think it's crazy, but I don't use a script. Yeah. What I do is... Um, oh, did I almost make it? I feel like I'm like up in the air, but I can't really see anything. This is weird. Yeah, so what I do is um, when I play a game, I thoroughly understand it when I'm done with it. And I'm the kind of person with my memory where I don't remember a lot of details. I'm a concepts person. And so I have short-term memory for the details on the game because I've played it so much and I get used to it. So I'll do... What I'll do is I'll record just hours and hours of footage. And then I remember certain concepts that I want to talk about. So then what I do is I loop, I go through all my video and I find segments of clips that I'm like, ooh, that would be a good clip that would coincide with this concept I want to talk about. So then I, I just split it up into all kinds of different clips in my video editor. And I name them so I might call one clip like this is the throwing weapon concept or this is the uh, fireball spell so I just have all these clips like hundreds of clips of just a single name uh, of well not a single name a just small description of what it is so then I have this empty slate for the video and I put my intro at the beginning and I'm like okay well naturally in the beginning of the video you show the starting screen, you talk about the game, like who made it and all that. So what I do is I drop all the clips in the order I want. So I'm like, well, I know next I'm going to want to talk about, I don't know, the menu. And then I want to talk about combat. And then I want to talk about this. So I put them all in order based on those small descriptions I had. I don't have a script. So then when I'm ready, I do the annotation over the top of that so I'll start the clip playing and as it's playing I see the description of the text coming on the screen and when I see it coming up I know what I want to talk about it like it's just on the fly you know I'll be like well you know combat this combat that and sometimes I'll stop the video and pause my rec my voice and look at the clip and, and figure out what I want to say there on the fly so then I'll talk for maybe 20 30 seconds and then stop my voice again look at the next segment and say okay what do I you know what do I want to say about this so I've done it in stages you know where you I know exactly the concepts I want to get across I just don't know how I want to say it and so then on the fly I just uh, come up with it so yeah so it you know I I know most people don't do it that way, but that's that's the I feel like the only way I'd probably be able to do a good job with it for it to not sound scripted. Because uh, otherwise, I think I'd sound like a machine. I'm already monotone enough, and if I'm like dealing with a script, I don't think it would it would work out too well. And I think it would actually be a lot more work for me to use a script. So anyway, sorry that's. The long uh, story about how I do it. <laughs> Andrew says, I can see that with how your videos turn out. 
Meaning that they probably sound bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can tell I make noobish comments. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is, like I said, my memory for games, I'll forget the details. So, like, years later, someone will ask me, do you know, do you remember how this worked? And I'll be like, no, I really don't. And I'd have to actually probably go back and review it or think of someone else's review or something. And then I'll remember right away. But on the fly, I just can't remember sometimes some of the details. Colin says, if user says hello, print hello username. <laughs> Andrew says, thanks for the explanation. I am always intrigued how others do their videos. Yeah, so how do you do yours? Because yours don't seem scripted. Do you have something written somewhere and you look at it? Or do you just kind of wing it based off the script? Like not do it verbatim. Okay, Saz Tam, we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, I think I finally made it to a shore. Wow. That was a challenge. Don't go out and exploring at nighttime, guys. It's a lesson I learned in this game. Andrew says, I memorize my camera lines and I read my voiceovers from a script on the screen. Ah, okay. I'll be darned. Oh, wow. Yeah, the stars up there just look so cool. Back in the water, seriously? Or if I miss something here. It is just a dead end up here, isn't it? I'm looking at the mini map. Oh, maybe I found something or maybe not still a dead end <laughs> gauntlet says remember to act surprised if encountered by a mob yeah this has been there really hasn't been any enemies out here it's pretty crazy hey max welcome to the stream how are you today max says you play baldur's gate 3 no i have actually Believe it or not, I've never played any of the Baldur's Gates. I'm a little bit older, so those were kind of past my time. I am going to play them at some point, but I haven't. What about you? Have you played it? So, wow, yeah, that was just a big dead end in there. Andrew says, I'm 100% scripted is what I'm at. I can't do things off the cuff. What? Yeah, you do all the time with your streams. You're very clever and funny. You Maybe you just don't feel comfortable doing that, but you do. Oh, somebody's coming up to my door, guys. Hold on a minute.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, someone came up to my door, so let's see. Max says the Baldur's Gates are the best RPGs that he's played. That's cool. <laughs> Magnificent Mail says always nice to have somebody visit you. Yeah, they were. Uh, it was a Boy Scout asking for uh, donations to uh, for popcorn. You have that kind of thing happen there over in uh, Denmark, Magnificent Meal, where like kids and stuff will come by for a club they're in or something, asking for donations. That happens all the time here in the United States. I didn't know what it was like in other countries. I'm just gonna follow the mini map. Makes it a lot easier. Hey Rod, welcome, welcome back. Good to see you again. Magnificent Meal says no, never in Denmark. Really? So they that just doesn't happen there, huh? Sastam says I used to sell candy bars as a kid for school fundraising. Yeah, see that's a perfect example. Yeah, this mini map's making it a lot easier to travel in the dark here. I can just look at it. The arrow's cool. It shows the exact direction you're facing. Rod says, yeah, in Argentina, people go around the neighborhood as well asking for donations. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if that was a, just a United States thing or not. And then Max says, you play D&D. &D. If you mean, like, tabletop, no. I don't have any friends around here to do tabletop stuff anymore. I used to, you know, like... 25 years ago, but what about you? Do you play D and D or tabletop? I play D and D games, computer games. Gauntlet says knocking on door after stream. Hello, would you like a donation? Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Man, this, this area is huge. And it's dark, so I can't see any of it. I feel like I've been exploring this area forever. map is really working though. Max says you can play TRPGs online with Roll20. Really? What does TRPG mean? You mean tabletop? Like like virtualized you mean? Where you play on cam or something? In the distance you spy a wooden raft that rest upon the water. It just said, in the distance, you spy a wooden raft that rests upon the water. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, there it is. I see it now. It's so dark, I can't see. So there's the raft. Ah, wow. Well, here's a trail. That's a good sign, maybe. Or is it not a trail? Hold on. Looks like that's just rock, maybe. Ah, tabletop. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's probably... Do you play it then, Max? Tabletop games? I think it would take an extreme amount of time. Ooh, new building. Fortune teller. Cool, let's save it. Uh oh. Fate has brought you here for a reason. Carespia is all knowing. Carespia can tell your fortune. Oh, a new plaything. Now you have it, now you know. Only 
Herespia can give you the answers you seek. Only Herespia can give you the answers you seek. Okay, let's say fortune. Only Herespia can give you the answers you seek. Herespia. Only Herespia can give you the answers you seek. Only Herespia can give you the answers you seek. Collet says I think I still have a set of clear dragon dice from long ago. Yeah, I have lots of crazy dice like that too. I don't know if I have clear ones. Rod says to clarify, D Forte plays normal old Dungeons and Dragons games. All the gold box and one for DOS, for example. Yeah, yeah, I play anything that's probably mid nineties and earlier D and D I've played. Save the Wiggles fun gauntlet says. Max says, yes, I play it. I'm the Dungeon Master. Oh, cool. Yeah, and that's usually what I did in the past, like when I was in high school. We had a few groups, but uh, one group I played as a bard, and then the other ones I was the Dungeon Master. I don't know what to tell her. Uh, Shaman? Okay. Well, you're not helping, so let's see. Oh, is this her? Oh, these are okay. I thought she was her respia. So she was just a gypsy. Is this her Espia? Lake Nymph. Gypsy. Where's her Espia? Is she up here? The one comes to see her Espia. Her Espia, who can see within the darkened water. Beware the fortunes of fate. I have seen your foretelling, and you need listen to my words. But before your fortune be told, I need 300 pieces of gold. A small price to pay for fooling the death man. Shall I reveal your fortune for 300 pieces of gold? I guess. I see that you are wise, and know that the giving is not the choice you really have. Let us gaze into the mists of truth and witness your foretelling. Yes. Concentrate. Feel the power. A dark cloud has gathered within your heart. It is blinding you to the fate which lies ahead. Traveling from here to there, you wander the gale, Seran, in search of vague destiny. And yet ambition has made you fight fate headlong. But fate would say this to you. I am the seed that settles the earth. I am the rain which calms the sun. I am the wind unto your touch. And that which is mine is mine to take. Dwell not upon these things that are mine. For the jagged saber of the light and the death cuts deep within the heart that is empty. Such soft embrace, the kiss and the pain. Only this can you touch. Only this can you taste. Fate has spoken. Your fortune so red. Where the path has been opened, there shall you tread. Make of it as you will. Alrighty. Wow. That was cryptic. Okay. Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that went into our journal. Uh, let's see, is there a way to see that? It's not really a quest. Characters. Yeah, here we go.
Nice, it put it right in here. Excellent, because I'm, I'm sure at some point that might help me. But yeah, I don't know. Hey, Sir Percival, welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, you're you're getting on kind of late today. <laughs> I've been going a long time. I'm, I'm gonna have to definitely stop for now. I may be able to be back on later. Uh, I'll probably play a different game. But uh, yeah, this has been really fun. I, I have been highly impressed with this. Wizards and Warriors, the D.W. Bradley one. Let's save this. But yeah, if I can get time later, I'll, I'll be back on. I don't know for sure if I will, but you know, hopefully I can. I'll probably play, if I can, I'll probably play an arcade or a main game or something like that. Um, Gauntlet asks, did I ever finish Rastan? No, I've only made it to that sixth level twice. And then when you die there, it's it's game over and it resets. It won't let you continue. So that's as far as I've made it. I guess that's the last level. Percy says he'll be around around <clears throat> 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. <clears throat> but yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for this stream. Magnificent meal. Thank you so much. For your generosity today is just mind-blowing. I just still can't believe it. And I'm so, so appreciative. Uh, since you missed it earlier, Percy, uh, my next review is going to be on colonization. It was a request for a magnificent meal. And it's a Sid Meier game. It's like a strategy exploration game. And it's really complicated. It's going to take me a, quite a while to get through and do a good review on it but that's that's what I'm working on so uh, yeah all you guys thanks so much for participating in the chat and watching and hanging out it was a lot of fun yeah magnificent meal hope to see you again soon and uh, lots of fun guys so yeah I might be on later night but can't promise anything so uh, thanks again everyone and hope you have a great rest of your weekend if I don't see you tonight and I will see you next time.